Throughout history, the development of explosive devices has had a profound impact on human civilization. From the first crude bombs used in ancient warfare to the sophisticated explosives used in modern conflicts, these weapons have played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history. The advent of bombs has brought a new level of devastation to the battlefield and beyond, leaving a trail of destruction that can last for generations. In light of powerful explosive devices, the GBU-43B Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, MOAB, is considered one of the most powerful non-nuclear weapons ever created. This bomb has the ability to create an enormous explosion, devastating a wide area and causing significant damage to structures and personnel. However, its immense power and destructive capabilities have made it a topic of both fascination and controversy, and its use in military conflicts has sparked debate about the ethics and practicality of such weapons. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at the GBU-43B and examine its history, design, and impact on modern warfare. Stay tuned. First of all, let's have a look at its overview in history. The GBU-43B Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, informally known as the mother of all bombs, is a large, powerful bomb developed by the United States military. It was designed by the Air Force Research Laboratory and manufactured at the McCollester Army Ammunition Plant. The bomb was primarily designed to create a shockwave that can destroy a wide area of enemy forces and infrastructure, as well as to be used against deeply buried targets and hardened structures, such as cave systems and underground bunkers. Its immense size and power make it a highly destructive weapon, but also a controversial one due to concerns about its potential impact on civilians and the environment. The MOAB was developed by the United States Air Force in the early 2000s as a replacement for the BLU-82 Daisy Cutter bomb. The Daisy Cutter had been used during the Vietnam War to create landing zones in dense jungle areas, but it was later used in the Gulf War and the war in Afghanistan for its psychological impact and to clear minefields. The bomb was designed to be a more precise and powerful bomb than the Daisy Cutter and to be used against hardened underground targets such as cave systems and tunnels. The development of the MOAB began in 2002 and was first tested at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida in March of that year. However, it was not until April 2017 it was first deployed in combat when it was dropped on an ISIS tunnel complex in Nangarhar province, Afghanistan. The use of the MOAB was intended to destroy the complex and to send a message to ISIS militants that the US military was prepared to use its most powerful weapons against them. In those days, the bomb caused a massive explosion and reportedly killed at least 94 ISIS militants. Following the successful use of the MOAB in Afghanistan, there was some speculation that the bomb could also be used against North Korea, which had been conducting a series of missile tests and had threatened the U.S. with nuclear weapons. However, military officials have stated that the MOAB is not a suitable weapon for use against North Korea, as its underground bunkers are too deep and too well protected for the bomb to be effective. Next, let's reveal its specification. The MOAB is an immensely powerful weapon designed for use against heavily fortified targets. Some of its key specifications include a weight of approximately 21,600 pounds, a length of around 30 feet, and a diameter of up to 40.5 inches. The bomb's explosive content consists of a mixture of RDX, cyclotrimethylene trinitramine, and aluminum powder known as H6. This explosive material can produce a blast radius of up to one mile, making the MOA a devastatingly effective weapon. In specific, when the bomb is dropped, it detonates in midair, creating a massive shockwave that can destroy buildings and other structures, as well as kill or injure anyone in the blast radius. Despite its destructive capabilities, the MOA does not have a guidance system and is typically delivered to its target by a specially modified C-130 cargo aircraft which must fly at a low altitude and rely on gravity to drop the bomb accurately. Overall, the MOAB is a formidable weapon with the ability to destroy large areas and inflict significant damage to enemy targets. Cost. The cost of the GBU-43B MOAB varies depending on a number of factors, including production costs, storage costs, and other factors. However, it is generally estimated to be a very expensive weapon system. 
According to various reports, the cost of a single MOAB is estimated to be around $16 million. This high cost is due in part to the size and complexity of the bomb, which requires significant resources to produce and maintain. In addition to the direct cost of the weapon itself, there are also significant costs associated with deploying the MOAV, including the use of aircraft, fuel, and other logistical support. These costs can add up quickly, particularly in the context of a prolonged military campaign. While the cost of the MOAB may seem high, it is important to note that the U.S. military generally does not disclose the exact cost of its weapon systems, and estimates may vary depending on a number of factors. Controversial Facts About MOAB The GBU-43B MOAB has been controversial since its development and deployment due to concerns about the potential for civilian casualties and damage to the environment. As mentioned earlier, the MOAB is a massive bomb that delivers a powerful blast and shockwave over a large area, making it potentially destructive to nearby civilian populations and wildlife. Critics have argued that the MOAB is a weapon of mass destruction and that its use violates international humanitarian law, which requires that combatants take all feasible precautions to minimize harm to civilians and civilian objects. They argue that the MOAB's immense size and destructive power make it difficult to use in a way that is consistent with these principles, and that its use could result in unnecessary harm to non-combatants. There are also concerns about the potential for environmental damage caused by the MOAB's explosion. The blast from the MOAB creates a shockwave that can cause significant damage to the natural environment, including destroying vegetation, wildlife habitats, and potentially polluting water sources. The use of such a powerful explosive can also generate significant amounts of dust and other debris that can spread over a wide area and pose a health risk to humans and wildlife. The U.S. military has argued that the MOAB is a legitimate weapon that is only used when necessary and in accordance with international law. Military officials have also noted that the use of the MOAB is intended to minimize the risk to U.S. troops, as it can be used to quickly and effectively destroy enemy fortifications and underground structures. Nonetheless, the use of the MOAB has remained controversial, and there have been calls to limit or ban its use in warfare. Some have argued that the potential for harm to civilians and the environment is too great to justify the use of such a weapon, and that alternative approaches to warfare should be pursued. Finally, it comes to an end. While the development and deployment of the MOAB has been seen as a symbol of the U.S. military's strength and technological superiority, at the same time, the bomb has also been criticized by some as a weapon of mass destruction that could cause unnecessary civilian casualties and damage to the environment. Thank you for watching.